There we go, that's gonna unlock that part. There you go. Where does temples? We're gonna try this again. I know we I know I just did this before, but we're gonna try it again. Because we got uh knocked out by the guards over there. Uh okay, so we got the king symbol. Oh, what's this? A tribute to Jerry the King Waller, just kidding. Uh <laughs> uh, alright, so we go to St. John's Chapel and enter the door. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know there's a time and a place to be funny. Um, okay, so now you're gonna go to this box, move the books, open it, move the other books, and take the first aid kit. That's gonna be important. Definitely. Um, so then now go over here. Go to Baron Hudson's tomb. Yes, I know. So then, I know. So then go to the king symbol, put the king on. Now for the next part. And you're gonna go... Queen, Baron, and Knight, and Soldier. Get the unusual uh, cylinder. I don't know. Yeah, get that. Yeah, can't avoid him. Can't avoid him, I'm afraid. Probably not how you wanted to get one, though. Boom. There you go. This isn't necessary. Boom. Hey, uh. Dingo. Do not make me help. Boom! Wham! Bing, bing, bing. Down you go. I better move him out of sight. You better. Well, actually, you don't need to because we're we're gonna be past this part anyway. Uh, okay. So now go back to Newton's tomb, which is gonna be over here. Back up here. Over to this hallway here. Okay, now here's where I messed up, but I think here I just need to be a little more careful. Uh, oh, he kind of moves in a circle, doesn't he? Hmm. Knock your block off! Another guy somewhere. I freaking hope not. Okay, so now we're gonna take the unusual cylinder and we're gonna combine it with the sun orb. It fits perfectly. And put it in. Did you hear that? Look, a drawer slid up. There's a scroll inside, but it looks like it's missing half. All right, so then take the other torn scroll, put it here. It fits perfectly. So strange a message, though. Reading this it out loud sometimes helps. The world. This final puzzle will wow. The world. They just talked on top of each other. From the losses you incurred. Your family reunion is at hand. See through the picture and you'll understand. Oh. Family reunion. How about everyone in my family is dead but me? That'd be a very disturbing reunion. But I think your grandfather may have had something else in mind. Look, <clears throat> these tiles were meant to go on top of the completed scroll. Ah, you're right. Let us see what picture the tile is from. Oh, this is going to be freaking difficult. Okay, here we go. Go with the... Well, obviously it's going to help if you go with the border pieces first. And 
This one's going to be close to the ground. This one I feel like it may be up here. This one will definitely be up here. This one is up higher. Let's see, this one is down. This one is going to be a corner piece, I think. Yeah, that one looks... Ooh. Does that one look right, though? Yeah, I'm going to say I don't think so. Yeah, this one's going to be a little tricky. This one was always tricky when I did it. Yeah, that one definitely goes there. And this one, I think, maybe here? Somewhere here. Uh, okay. No, I think that was okay the where with the way it was. This one might be a corner. Switch these two. That, I feel like that one is good there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just trying to think a little bit here. This puzzle always was very tricky to me. Every time I played this game, this puzzle always tricked me. It's always something I missed. Uh, no, that was right. Something there, though. Oh, that wasn't right.
Let's see. That looks like a top of something. I can see, I can see you people at home going like, I can, I can probably feel you people going like, oh man, how does he not know this? The answer's right there. And I, I'm, I would be right there with you if I knew more about this puzzle. Uh, but like I said, this one always stumped me when I would play it. I never know. Where the proper, whoop, no, that was right. Where the proper uh, tiles would go and where. Let this maybe switch this. Maybe this goes closer to the... No. No, 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 no. That was right. That's a corner piece. Uh... There we go. Whew. Thank goodness. Alright, we got that puzzle together. The final solution is pay-ins. Church. Robert, look, there are holes in the tiles. You can see letters to them. P A Y E N S. Payens is the final password for the cryptex, and Judah Payens founded the Knights Templar, which means that this must be a Templar church in the picture. Now, what do we do? We can use this to get Teabing back. But, Robert. Anyone vile enough to threaten someone's life like this does not deserve to know the secret of the grave. I don't think we have much of a choice at this point. TV is my friend. Our friend. If anything should happen to him. That is quite enough. I am a plain YouTube I'll be very overdue. Remy. Overdue for what? Ah, I believe I am the one with the power here. My gun will point you in the proper direction to move your feet. Go. Charming guy, ain't he? You wait here. And if you value your life, and if you ask for purpose, I suggest you not move. I hope you did not think I did this all by myself. What? What do you mean? Remy, I am afraid your services are no longer needed. <gasps> Whoa! Please believe I Whoa. any potential for being involved. Dang! You came to my home. Teabing. Came searching for me. Wait, what the hell are you doing? We thought you were in trouble. We came here to help you. As I trusted you. We have much to discuss. Let Sophie leave. You and I can discuss this alone. I have given you the cryptics as a show of good faith. And I'm afraid that is all that I can afford to give you. You couldn't solve it. I am afraid not, Robert. I need your help. I can dislike TV long enough for Robert to think of something. 
TV is the type of person who hates having his own rights used against him. Bingo. I thought you told us that only the wealthy can find the Glail. Let's see if we can solve the cryptex. What? How dare you say so now pains, but we gotta do it as quickly as I can. My life work. My life work. But here we are. And Robert, you must make your decision. What can you possibly hope to gain from this? Why, Langdon, the one thing that I have always wanted the most. To release the Sangreal documents to the public as they were always intended to be by the Priory. If the Priory wanted to release the documents, Sonier would have done so. Ah, but I discovered a terrible truth. The reason the documents were not released at the beginning of the new millennium, at the ultimate moment of truth, Jacques Sonier changed his mind. So you blame Sonier because the Sangreal documents were never released? Dang. Wait. Teabing is behind everything. In Grandpère's death, Teabing and all of this art. He is the one responsible for Grandpère. You are the one responsible for my grandfather's murder. This seems to be working. Your grandfather failed the priory, the grail, and the memory of all the generations that Got it. to make that moment possible. Now we enjoy the cutscene. His responsibility in Christian history eschewed his duty. His seneschal were traitors to the grail. He was also under the thumb of the church, and that ultimately is why I had to put his mind at rest and complete his what could the church possibly have over Sonier? The church has 2,000 years of experience pressuring those who threaten to unveil its lies. Since the days of Constantine, the church has successfully hidden the truth about Mary Magdalene and Jesus. We should not be surprised that now, once again, they have found a way to keep the world in the dark. The church may no longer employ crusaders to slaughter non-believers, but their influence is no less persuasive no less insidious. Employing crusaders, persuasive influence, insidious. He's not just describing the church. Is he a complete hypocrite? He has done everything that he says he hates the church for. You are no better than the church. What are you talking about? You manipulated Silas and Remy into working for you. You sent them to murder people who did not believe as you did. But everything I did was to expose the truth. What does it matter if you become exactly like the very thing you despise? Oh, no, my dear. You have no idea of what you speak. Perhaps I can illustrate my point with something you've been wondering about since you were old enough to think. Miss Navu, for some time now, your grandfather has wanted to tell you the truth about your family. How could you know that? My methods are immaterial. The important thing for you to grasp right now is this. Deaths of your mother, father, grandmother, and brother were not accidental. Dang. What are you Robert, it explains everything. All the pieces fit. History repeats itself. The church has a precedent of murder when it comes to silencing the Sangreal. With the end of days imminent, killing the Grand Master's loved ones sent a very clear message. Be quiet. You and Sophie are next. These are just theories, but there is one murderer to be blamed. Even if the judge did murder my parents, he is no murderer. And now you have taken over where the judge has left off. What do you mean? You have no proof about what happened to my parents, but now we do know what to It was you who murdered my grandfather. It was his own fault. He and his seneschal lied to Cyrus. Otherwise, I would have obtained the keystone without complication. How was I to imagine the Grand Master would go to such ends to deceive me and bequeath the keystone to an estranged granddaughter? Someone so unqualified to hold this knowledge that she required a symbologist babysitter. Whoa! So it was you the entire time? One way or another, the keystone was coming to Chateau Villette. Silas was supposed to steal it from you there, thus removing you from the equation without hurting you and exonerating me from any suspicion of complicity. However, 
When I saw the intricacy of Sonia's codes, I decided to include you both in my quest a bit longer. I could have Silas steal the keystone later, once I knew enough to carry on alone. Let him judge. But you still need a scapegoat. Someone to blame for the murders that lead to the miraculous recovery of the Sangreal documents. I am afraid that Silas served his purpose all too well. As we speak, he is no doubt under the arrest of the police, and he is a well-known member of Manor's Day. Listen. Can you hear it? The Grail is speaking to us across the centuries. She's begging to be saved from the Priory's folly. I implore you both to recognize this opportunity. We need to swear an oath together. A pledge of faith to one another. A knight's allegiance to uncover the truth and make it known. Wow. I will never swear an oath with my grandfather's murderer. Except the oath that I will see you go to prison. I am sorry you feel that way, mademoiselle. And you, Robert. Are you with me or against me? I know how to find the answer. But so we go. We'll figure it out together at Newton's tomb. I am not going anywhere. That crucifix was given to me by my grandfather. It is not yours to open. Sophie, please. You're in danger. I'm trying to help you. Robert, my grandfather would prefer his secret lost forever than see it in the hands of his murderer. Shoot me if you have to. I am not leaving my grandfather's legacy in your hands. Very well. No, Lee, if you even think about it, I will drop this. That bluff won't work on me. I know you better than that. Do you, Lee? I am a lone knight, surrounded by unworthy souls. Very well, to show the faith. Set the cryptex down. He'll shoot us both as soon as I do. I have to protect Sophie and the Grail. And there you go. That's going to complete the uh, Westminster Abbey level. Again, my favorite level in this game. Um, I really enjoyed this level when I played it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it too and found this guide useful. Um, if you go on to like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with the next part of the guide. Uh, BM Extreme signing off for now. Peace out, guys.